Um, this is VO Lake Propellant going up in five, four, three, two, one, launch. I won. Yeah, it stayed together. That's good. That's just one. Up in five, four, three, two, one. Head 76, finally going up in five, four, three, two, one, go. There we go. That's gorgeous. I think it was worth the wait. Nicely done. Sorry for the delay. We got another one out there. Peg 78. Gabori, Gabori, Lisa from Westport, Massachusetts is going to fly the Punisher 3. It is a wild man tank. It weighs a whole five and a half pounds and it's going to fly on an L2200 motor. Folks, you're going to want to watch this fast because it's going to scoot. This is a Peg 78 event going up in five, four, three, two, one, go. are clear. Weighs 26 
Paris can climb on an L-1256. When we're going up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. That's nice. The 50s are clear, the 30s are clear. 30s are clear. It's flying a rocket that is his daughter's. The rocket's name, the Hudson uh, rocket's name is three. They're from Hudson, Wisconsin. Here goes. Rocket's name is three, going to 13, five. In five, four, three, two, one, maybe. There we go.
supposed to tell Ted to look. I'm assuming Ted knows who Ted is, but Ted, you are being told to look at Philip Dugan's flight. So here we go, off cab 53 in five, four, three, two, one. Well, that one scooted. Early. This is a wild man kit weighing 12 pounds flying on a K2050 Super Thunder. Randy, you're up. This is a radio tracker on board with altimeter deploy at 800 feet. So here we go off pad 55 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gosh, that was fun. 1272. We've got 2,938 newton seconds of total impulse with a burn time of 2.3 seconds. This propellant is named Don Alexander's White. Now to Sparky Motor, we've got redundant dual deploy with main chute deployment at 700 feet. Here we go off pad 56 with Wayne in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's going to be a major heads up south end. We do have our dual deploy south end angled. Everyone point at that. It's coming in under a shoot now, but Texas compound. And lock kit weighing 10 pounds, 12 ounces, flying on an Aerotech J350. We've got altimeter deploy at Apogee. So here we go off pad 57 with John in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Smoke. Look at that. Alrighty, we are going to head on out to our 70s, then come up to 45. This is not a sparky motor, but we do have onboard video and GPS telemetry and radio tracking with altimeter deploy at Apogee. Now, Randy, we're going to head on out to our 
Ross Laura. Very good. Uh-huh. From Teddy's camp, and you could see right at first. All right. I don't know if anyone is paying attention to the rockets up here on our model rockets, but on pad 13, pad 14, and pad 18, we have three rockets that all match, and they are all about to drag race. So we have Elijah Short, Gianna Short, and Jelena Short, all from Pine Mountain, Georgia, flying in SD Spirit on a B64. So we are taking paths 13, 14, and 18 with the short siblings, I'm assuming. Do an override and try again on 14 and 18 and just see if we can get these going, all right? So one more time, five, four, three, two, one. Looks like I get a nice road out there, too. Yeah. Five, four, three, Two, one. There it goes. Um, this rocket is called Concept 120. It weighs 24 pounds. 
And if I'm not a research voter, this voter is an M1225 Sparky, um, a total impulse of 5,000-ish, with a burn time of 3.9 seconds. This propellant name is Sparky-1. Um, let's see, we've also got two axe ejection devices, and may deploy at 800 feet. So here we go, off path 75, which is nicely in the dirt, with Preston Sparky in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Got an adapter. Go to the number 52. Good luck, Ellen. Going in five, four, three, two, one. What saved me was Victor Hill, California. This rocket is called the View from Halfway Up. It's a wild man fighter's punisher. This weighs 34 pounds, this is an Aerotech N as in Mary 1550 Redline motor in it. This is Shane's level 3 certification flight, and this is going to be fun because I'm just half. So uh, let's see how this goes. We've got a radio tracker on board, GPS, dual deployment at 1,000 feet, and he tells me he is nervously confident, so let's do this. Pat 66, Shane Harris, a view from halfway up, level 3 certification flight. Going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, good luck. 